guys, I'm Dareth Walker with Metro Parks Centennial Art Center and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really neat clay owl. Ready? You're going to need to have a piece of paper, it can be construction paper, newspaper, protecting that surface, and a ball of clay. You can use air dry clay, maybe you've got some play-doh, but this is my clay. You're going to start by pounding that clay flat. You can pound it using this part of your hand, fingers back, get it all nice and flat. Then we're going to pick it up, peel the paper off, and we're going to let this side go down so it stays nice and flat back and forth until, look at this piece, it's all nice and flat. You're going to look around your house, maybe have a bowl, a plate. I'm using this flower pot. It's about six and a half inches, seven inches across in diameter. And I'm going to trace to make a nice even circle with my pencil. It's a dull one. I'm going to press it down into the clay and drag it. I'm pulling that clay away from the pot. That is how I'm tracing. So I'm going to go all the way around and when I'm done, voila, I will have this nice smooth round piece of clay that I can now texture. Texture is making it look like it has, um, when you touch it, it would feel a certain way. We're going to show different household items, your toys, anything you have can be pressed into the clay. Maybe you've got a marker cap. Look at that, make a pattern. A fork. This cool carpenter's pencil could make a neat pattern. So you look around, find something, even the bottom of your shoe. But when you're done, you're gonna have this textured round piece. We're going to make the owl's wing. I'm going to fold over one side. I'm going to take this clay, put my pencil there, and start folding it over, pressing. I'm going to move this out, pressing the clay down. Cool. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm not pressing hard. I'm just going to kind of drag it through to show where that wing meets, OK? Now we're going to do this technique called scoring. It's where you scratch down into the clay, a bunch of lines going one way, and then the lines going the other way. So you're like making little X's cross hatching. You can use a pencil. If you've got a fork, you can use a fork to do this. You want to make sure you do both sides when you're trying to stick clay together. So if I want this piece to stick to this piece, I have to score both sides. Then the glue that we use is water. So I'm going to take a paintbrush, a little bit of water that I've been rinsing my brush in so it looks clay dirty, a little mud water. That's actually called slip. So I'm going to wet every area that I want to stick together. Paint it with water. Okay, are you ready? Now I'm going to press it down and I want to make sure that I get all the air out. So as I press from this side in, you see how the water and the air bubbles are going to squeeze out. There you go. Sometimes it's nice to just give it a little wiggle. Pressing it all down. Then I'm going to do the other side and it's going to look like this. So now my owl has two wings and he's got that textured body. Well, to make his head, we're going to fold down just like we did with the wing. So I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to put it right here to give me an idea of where I want that head to bend. All right, here it comes. So it's going to fold down about there. I'm going to give myself a mark so I know, oh look, all of that, I've got a score and slip. Remember slip is water with a little clay in it. 
This time I'm going to show you how using a fork. Look at that. It goes a lot quicker. I'm going to do both sides. Okay, make sure you get it nice and, and uh, scored before you add your slip or your water. There you go. We're going to paint all of it nice. We're going to press it down just like we did before, right? Press. And then it's going to look like this. You're going to have that pressed down. You're going to add some texture to your wings. Now, to make the little tuft that looks like an ear, I'm going to press this way and I'm going to press this way. So I'm pressing and forming that little tuft. Look at that, pressing. Just a little pinch, pinching it. So I've got one tuft. I'm going to spin that around and do it like this. Pinching it. There we go. Now, you can use a bottle cap, marker cap. Let's make an eye. You can decorate it however you want. And with this last piece of clay that I had, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a beak. So that beak is going to be a triangle. So there we go. We're going to slip and score. Add some water to it, and that's going to be your beak. Press this in to make your holes so you can hang it when you're all done on each side. And guys, that is how you make a really cool clay owl.